What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome back to another Match Day Vlog. Today, it is the Clash of the Titans. Charlton are welcoming back a familiar, legendary face to the Valley. And this is going to be an absolutely brutal battle. Chris Powell versus Lee Bowyer, Charlton Athletic versus Southend United. So today we welcome Chris Powell back to the Valley, an absolute Charlton legend in the dugout and as a player. However, he comes into his he comes into this game with a South End side that has lost two on the bounce and has lost three of their last five league games. Whereas Charlton have not scored in their last two games, but have only lost three games in their last eleven. So Charlton, despite our recent form not particularly being that great, we are the favourites to win today. But it is going to be a difficult test. We are without Lyle Taylor for the final time through a free match suspension. But Patrick Bauer is suspended following his controversial red card against Fleetwood Town, I felt. Um, yeah, a bit controversial, the red card there. So we might have to fill in Darren Prattley maybe at centre-back or CDM and play Balick centre-back, I'm not too sure. But... There is no excuses for this game. We have to play two up front. I don't care. We don't have a choice. We played one striker in the last two games against Peterborough and Fleetwood and failed to score a goal. So we have to play two up front. I don't know if that means Parker plays up front with Igor or Rico. I would personally say Igor. I would like to say Rico, but apparently he didn't play that well against Fleetwood. So he struggled. But you never know. Maybe a strike partner is what he needs. Southend have got some threats. Uh, Stephen Humphreys, who scored against us early on in the season against Scunthorpe, when it, um, for Scunthorpe, sorry, when he played for them early on in the season. Simon Cox, very experienced player. Timothy Dieng, who used to play for Bradford last season. Michael Turner, former Charlton player at centre back. Uh, Michael Kitely, who's a winger, and also former Charlton player Harry Lennon, who played for us last season. However, he won't be playing today. He's recovering from a broken leg. It's going to be tough today, guys. They're going to present a decent threat. I think Chris Powell is a fantastic manager. They're going to be difficult. It's either going to be a 1-1 draw or Charlton are going to nick it 2-1. I've been backing Johnny Williams to score a goal for weeks and I reckon he will get one today. Um, he'll score either if we get a draw or a win. But if we win, I think the second goal will be Josh Parker. But without any further hesitation, guys, let's get down to the valley and let's end our goalless drought and get back to winning ways against South End. Come on, you head! Let's go! Right, so I'm here today with Charlton fan. What's your name, mate? Oh, nice. What do you think the score is going to be today? 3-1. 3 one, yeah? Who's going to score? Better KLA, Johnny Williams. Yeah, I said Williams today as well. I reckon 2-1 or we might draw. Or 1-1 because we haven't scored in a while, haven't we? Right. Thanks a lot, man. Enjoy the game, yeah? Enjoy the game. Have a nice one. Cheers. Right, just a quick one before we get into the match day vlog. I just want to say thank you to literally the support that I've got is just absolutely incredible. It's moments like that that it's just... It's just brilliant. It's so uplifting. It just gives me so much motivation and confidence to do these sort of videos. That that young boy I met today, he was just he was beaming. He was he just he was just loving it. I met another young lad today as well called Lenny Barton. Shout out to you as well. But honestly, it's it's moments like that that it's just it's just brilliant, and it's that's that's why I do this thing. <laughs> This atmosphere against Southend today is going to be a good day. Three changes to Charlton. Bart Marshall, Tarek Rosu and Igor Verkayla return to the side. Bauer's suspension puts Baylick as centre-back for Southend. South End have the lead, it's 1 0 South End. Reeves lost the ball near the end of our box. They start South End playing the ball around, had a shot, it took a deflection off Saar and it's flown in the roof of the net. We're 1 0 down. Yeah, get off the pitch! Shot of a lifeline, South End are going to rise, send off. Coming through, it's a two man challenge on Williams and he's been given a straight red. Here we go, Jerry! South End have done a 10 men. Come on, Charlton! We have a chance! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Out! He's caught him that time! Come on, Fosso, run! Go! Oh, 
decent. No. Oh. Right, so it's half time here at the Valley. Charlton Athletic nil, South End United one. And to be honest with you, one phrase sums up that first half. We really, really miss Lyle Taylor, seriously. We were so aggressive right at the start, it looked like we had the better chances. And then Southend seemingly out of nowhere get a very, very lucky shot. Took a deflection off Saad, flew in the back of the net. Then um, a hilarious situation happened where um, a Southend player got put through after they cleared the ball. A defence was nowhere. And then a whistle went in the east stand. The player thought that the ref had blown the whistle for offside. So he stopped running. Turned out he was onside. And he stopped running. So yeah, Southend, I'd probably consider Southend lucky not to be too quite lucky that we're that, um, Charlton are quite lucky that Southend are 2-0 down then Drew Yearwood two-footed Johnny Williams and got a straight red I think that was a justified very poor challenge from him and up until that point Charlton are like Southend down to 10 men we have, we're a, we have an advantage and then all of a sudden we're losing the ball too easily and our attacking threat has just gone out the window we're really missing Taylor at the minute and we're struggling badly. Tariq Fosu has been the main fault on our side, seriously. He just does not want to pass the ball. He's too greedy. Not the player he was last season. I think we need to take him off, bring on like Fosu or possibly Josh Parker. But honestly, we had a great opening minute, but we've not been good enough. He's going for this win. He subbed off Reeves, who got the equaliser for Rico Hackett Fairchild. He's got three up front, Vettakele Parker and Hackett Fairchild. Come on, boys, let's get this win. No. Williams? Lay it off, lay off. Interesting. No. Christian! Oh God! Could everyone stop getting shot? Come on! Out! Out. Oh my God! Dylan, get us up there, mate. Get us up there. Lapses are Come on! Come on! Get us up there! Come on! Six minutes of added time, South End have a corner. 
Oh! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Dylan, get something now! I think that was our chance done. Hackett Fairchild won a header from across and just missed it at the far post. That's probably going to be it. I say it's about two minutes left, but we're running out of time. I think it's going to end one more draw. I think that's going to be it. Straight out of play. One last attack, boys. One last goal. George, why'd you leave that? Christian Battle. Oh, go on, Igor. Go! Lasso! No! Parker! Someone! If I can go! It's done, it's over. Let's have one last attack. He's gonna blow the whistle! Go on, George, actually. No. The points are shared at the Valley. To be fair, probably the fair result. Cholton and Paul, first half. South End, better side. Cholton, much the better side, second half. Very deserved. But I will have to have a look at that penalty appeal again. I saw that on camera. I'll have to have a look at that. Points are shared. One thing I will say is that thank God we have Lyle Taylor Black from Blackpool because we need him badly. And I'll see you all then for football for a fiver. This is Tyler Rodgers and have a nice day and I'll see you all later. Full time at the Valley, Charlton Affair 1, Southampton United 1. See you later.